Yeah, hi all. So I just thought I'd do a quick video today on um, uh, converting the 6 volt semaphores uh, to operate using 12 volts. Now uh, my, my car I'll show in a second is right hand drive 1958 running semaphores. Um, and basically the, in, the, the previous owner had fitted items like this in, in situ. So one of these goes to each semaphore basically which can steps it down from 12 volts to 6 volts. And then obviously the M4 then will pop up at a normal speed and it won't basically it won't burn out and it can still operate using the same bulbs effectively. Um, or you can buy brand new Torx semaphores, which obviously would do the job as well. But most of us want to use original semaphores, that's why we need these. So what I found is uh, in the car I've got another one of these that looks similar to this, that is um one ohms at 50 watts and it's wire wound, and that one that operated perfectly. So what I did so I didn't at the time know it was one. It was one ohm. So what I did is I looked online, um, found this one here from say BBT. This is a part number here. Don't buy it. Um, it's four ohms at fifty watts. And what you find is this one here is sort of is generally listed on many places as suitable for like everything on a Volkswagen. So down from the wiper motor to bulbs and semaphores. Now I would suggest. That, oh, this this one here does not work with semaphores. Four ohms is is far too it's far too powerful. Drops the current really too low. And honestly, um, you do the semaphore. And the semaphore does nothing at all. If you flip the semaphore up with your finger, try and sort of hook it out and up with your finger, then it gradually goes up like that. So this is far too. This is absolutely not suitable for semaphores. Four ohms. Um, that I'd imagine that, that is actually for wiper motors, which obviously draw a lot more current. So that's probably what that's for from BBT. So be aware wiper motor for that one. Now this one here was the one that's on the left hand side 1.6 and with this one here the semaphore would go up at a normal ish bit slower than normal pace and the bulb would um, hardly go on because it just wasn't enough juice overall um, to operate it. Um, whereas when I switched out when I tested the one on the other side is actually uh, was one 1.1 1 .1 ohm that sort of level on the meter and that operated perfectly so therefore I needed to go out and buy some 1 ohm ones here. So went out and bought these which obviously look very similar to those these are about three pound fifty each i'll put the link in the description um they're one ohm at 50 watts uh, j um and they're wire wound so that's what you want this is old-fashioned technology so you want these ones here now i'm going to mount these because these will get warm obviously the sm fours you know if you keep them on for ages that will these will obviously get hot because that's where the, you know, the 12 volt gets converted to six volts so they will get hot Obviously, semaphores, most people would switch them on, make the corner, and turn them off. That's a sort of normal procedure, obviously. But it's absolutely wise to, to neat, for neatness to mount them on something. So, ideally, which I haven't got right now, a piece of, sort of thick aluminium would be good. So, I would be ordering a, a square of aluminium and I can do it nice and neat and all that sort of stuff. But for um, this weekend, I'm going to basically use this bracket here. Because, um, obviously, again, for me, I, turn, I, turn, I indicate, I take the corner, I turn it off. That kind of gist. But I'm going to use this bracket here to mount one there. And then, then I'm going to mount the other one. So I bought two of these to replace the old ceramic type. So I have one there, one there, and then mount it. You know, somehow you know, maybe use this or attach it. You know, to something else just to sort of dissipate the heat basically until the thick mount comes. So that's a quick summary of that on there. So that's the one you want. Um, if we head around to the car. So there she is. Now, quick looking here. So remember, this is a quick board trimmer. So that's the one that was, uh, obviously that's the one that works with the car. So once I've seen, there's no, there's, there's no details on it, but obviously once I've measured it and checked it, it's, it's basically one, 1 1.1 ish at 50 watts. So that's that's the one that's a good one there, but I'll be replacing that with the other gold one. This is the other one here. So again, it's just temporarily bodged in place. I'll be basically mounting, say both on a plate um, about here, probably about here somewhere. So it looks nice and neat all the while. And I come over, we've got left hand indicator. So left hand semaphore, right hand semaphore. It'll look really nice and neat. That way I can get all this screw and make it all look um, good in there. So I'm kind of, sort of currently sort of doing stuff with the wiring, you know. So that's it there. And then head into the car. Here in ignition. Down there. And so the only one light comes on because I've got my, my other dash gauges down here and that's that and that pops up absolutely at a normal speed when you're driving along on a cold day or whatever that thing is going to pop up and he said it's got the flashy bulbs in there so that's a six volt flashing bulbs and then that side there which is running on the old ceramic unit you know tad a tad slower 
obviously once um, both of them have been um, replaced, um, they should operate about the same. You know, give or, give or take any wear or tear. So yeah, hope you find that interesting. And um, yep, do do a good job. Make sure it's all connected up properly. You know, and um, yeah, I definitely suggest. You know, you've not absolutely not necessarily. You could just mount those these um devices you know you could effectively just screw them anywhere you wanted obviously too but to do a proper nice job i would suggest mounting it to a you know a rectangular of aluminium or something cool nice one cheers